This is Ray's Pyramid Electric Generator. The Pyramid has been a focus point over the ages. One of the best known is the Great Pyramid of Giza. It is said that there are forces that are gathered around and people on the internet, they have, some have tried to access some of the power out of that. Uh, we don't know if they've been successful or not. They don't really tell us. <laughs> so in this uh, video, we're going to explore some of the facets of the uh, pyramid. It is made up of three, four triangles. The base being a rectangular or a square. My setup is I have two contacts. They're both metal. They're both feeding into the voltmeter. I have a small piece of two-sided sticky tape in the middle. <laughs> this is wood. My, my venture is over unity effects. Usually it's in magnets. But I came across this and I wanted to document it. I'm going to show you where we're headed before we take some readings. The, uh, there's about 100 volts per meter at the surface of the earth. The electric field strength in the atmosphere near the surface of the earth is about 100 volts per meter. The potential increases with increasing heights up to about 300,000 volts. So at the surface at a meter you have about 100 volts. As you continue up we go up to about 300,000. Okay. The theory, in some way, not clearly understood, and we will be demonstrating this, the arrangement demonstrated is able to separate and isolate and access the electric field of the earth. I cannot see any other candidates for this happening, uh, the readings we'll go into. I'll be eliminating static charge, that'll be one of the likely things that uh, comes to mind first. It seems the rectangular base of the pyramid is fed and charged by the four triangular sides of the pyramid through movement. Okay, we want to have some type of control so we'll be using the input contacts here. We're going to use my hand. I have a nitro glove on. We're going to use a block of glass, wood, plastic, and the side of the triangle itself. I believe this is where the forces are feeding through these sides and are feeding down to the base. That's my theory. And then uh, lastly, we'll uh, go ahead and take readings of the base of the pyramid itself. Okay. Okay, we'll go ahead and start with my hand, see if it makes any difference on the meter. I have the meter set on 2 volts. Okay, okay first we'll take the uh, hand with the uh, nitro glove. Of course, this is one thing I thought, well, there might be static electricity, but there's nothing there. Also, we'll take glass. I have a block of glass here. And uh, we'll see if that does anything. Of course, it does not either. Uh, we'll take some plastic. I had a, a glue bottle. I thought also that might be something that would be making static electricity. And then lastly, wood. So we see there's uh, very, very little uh, change in that. Okay, we'll take the side of the pyramid. This is a little pyramid I got offline. I would imagine it's pexaglass, but it's the geometry, I believe, that's doing this also. There seems to be some relationship between uh, the forces that we're trying to access and the geometry or shape of the pyramid. So, okay. Let's take the uh, side. <clears throat> and 
and there is a little bit of charge on there. What did we get up to? Uh, 14, 20 sun? Sometimes it'll bleed out on that side and it'll go almost down to zero. So, <clears throat> we're having very, very small. Okay. Now, we're going to access the, uh, the readings on the base of the pyramid. This is where I believe the uh, power and the electric field is being generated. <clears throat> There's 48. 50, 80, 60s, 70s, 112, what's that? 100 and some, 100, 150, 160, 180, 180. So that's uh, quite a jump from, uh, you know, just one or two or three up to over a hundred, uh, that'd be a milliamps, or milli, yeah, millivolts, I'm sorry, millivolts. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and again, the hand, the glass block, the plastic bottle, the wood, Okay, the side of the pyramid itself, this is where I believe the forces are acting upon the geometry of the uh, pyramid and coming down and charging the uh, base. <clears throat> I left that on there, let the bleed off a little bit. So we're showing just really almost nothing for the side of the pyramid. And yet we turn it over onto the base <clears throat> and then we're getting the charge is back over 100 there, over 160 or so. 200, there was a 200. So that's almost two points or two tenths of a volt. Uh, so this is uh, definitely something that was unexpected on my part. I didn't expect this happening. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this. There's a lot more research to do in this. A larger uh, pyramid, perhaps take it outside, uh, out of the house. You maybe spin it around. So I don't know if I'll get into this too much. I'm, uh, my basic thing is uh, magnets and have no reunity effects on them. But uh, I wanted to document this. I hope you enjoyed it. I do have a coffee donation. If you would like to donate, I do take all the donations and put them into materials uh, like uh, little pyramids, magnets, equipment. Okay, thank you. Have a good day in vetting. We'll see you next time.